Hi, this is The Illusion reporting from Malibu, California, somewhere on planet Earth. Yeah, I think I finally got my voice to actually be in sync with my lips in your illusion. Anyway, uh, the reason I'm making this video tonight is to talk about the paddleboarding thing. You know, um, expressed in my last video, I got jammed up with some paddleboarders out there, but you know, that was me being in resistance. Truthfully, I don't care if you paddleboard. I don't care what anyone does, man. It's their own dream to do with what they will. You know, um, I just know me personally, man. I've been in resistance to uh, the whole paddleboarding thing for a while, man. You know, and uh, hey, I've taken it right to the source as far as resistance goes, man. You know, me and the boys here have. Uh, Launched some campaigns against the paddleboarding, man. You know, I can say this now because uh, I've personally made my amends with Laird Hamilton face to face. But, uh, you know, I went and spray painted his whole street expressing what an outrage it is. This whole paddleboarding fad down here in Malibu. Now, uh, you know, you may not understand it if you're not a lifelong surfer like some of us are but uh you know one day we just woke up and there was a bunch of dudes who uh never surfed and all of a sudden they're out on paddle boards man hogging waves having no etiquette man taking more than their fair share you know pretending that they have some sort of existential right away you know which isn't really the case man you got to show respect you know hey I'll grant it man there's some pretty radical shit going on with the paddle boards you know but uh hey you don't need to go invade a surfing spot with your paddle board and be an absolute hog about it you know that's the real beef with the paddle boards you know one of my good friends Vince Klein you know he can't like do actual paddle surfing anymore and he uses a paddle board due to you know physical ailments and the fact of the matter man Vince Klein is one of the most courteous paddle boarders out there you know I've never seen him snake anyone on his paddle board he always surfs the inside leftover waves at Malibu and scores dude he doesn't need to go to the top of the point and bully his way around with his paddle board just because he can see the waves first and you know he can do all the extra strokes to get him in there you know that's not really the point of what the paddle board is man it's just another device out in the ocean but uh if you use it as some sort of vehicle to separate yourself from the crowd and think that you have the right to take more waves than the next guy hence lies the beef me personally man you know I don't have too many interactions with paddle boarders, you know, they uh, they don't really like my kind of wave I like. I like a heavy beach break and, you know, I'll get down on the points when it's fucking happening, but uh, they don't find themselves out there either. You know, I understand that's a different deal out in Hawaii and stuff, but hey, like I said, man, to each his own. But, you know, every now and then... The paddle boarders kind of get in the way, you know, they uh, change the flow of the lineup. You know, there's a certain hierarchy out in the water, dude, and all of a sudden some guy shows up with his paddle bar board and starts fucking blowing that hierarchy apart, man. And, you know, that's just not cool, dude. And that's really what it is. If you're out there using the paddle boards, man, hey, dude, you guys are last in line, dude. Sorry, man. And, you know, I'm sure you guys have experienced a lot of fucking pissed off, hostile people about it. And, you know, you may have all the skills and respect in the world, but you got to understand, you guys got to do some self policing out there, you know? I mean, your average paddle boarder is some guy who doesn't have the skills, who's later in life, who's missed the boat on surfing, and, and due to the paddle board, he's able to access the surf and not have to deal with the consequences and that's basically the problem man is uh most of the people on paddle boards aren't qualified to be in the lineup you know they can't do it on regular boards man and 
you know, that's a lot of the beef there. It's, it's, hey, dude, take your lumps like the rest of us, man. It ain't easy paddling into a wave and getting to your feet with all the adjustments that need to be made. You know, sometimes it's a death or glory. Sometimes you got to take a beating. Sometimes it just don't work out. But, you know, that's half of why surfing is so rad. You know, you got to take the bitter with the sweet. And the bitter is what makes it out so sweet. You know, so my beef with the paddleboard is really non-existence. The way I view it is it's a gatekeeper. It's a reflection of my negative headspace. And, uh, you know, when I find myself in resistance, a paddleboarder tends to show up. And, uh, you know, if I don't use it as a cue from the universe to uh, separate myself from my ego, then I find myself fucking getting a two-wave hold down and that's really what I was trying to express in that last video was you know my ego got in the way and I had to lay out an opinion about paddleboarding but I guess that's why I'm making this is I really don't have an opinion about it man if you guys are out there using the paddle boards more power to you man I hope you're having a good time you know me personally I think that uh there's a certain lack of policing that that and no one's taking responsibility for what it is because as surfers in the lineup and by the way paddle boards aren't surfers you guys are paddle boards let's you know you guys got to stop fucking honing in on the deal it's like it's the equivalent of dudes on bmx bikes showing up to fucking ride the bull you know, hey, do it on your own time when the skaters aren't there because it's just a dynamics issue. Different speeds, different dynamics, man. And I don't know, man. All I know is I'm a kook for trying to say that anyone should not do what they enjoy, man. And I guess that's the point of this video, man, is uh, carry on. And, you know... I don't know, dude. I think I'm going to uh, revamp this, but uh, that was my first shot.